<laughs> Alright, what's going on guys? Hmm. A little bit of cardio talks tonight. Nothing too crazy. Just uh let's see, let's go about let's go about three. And we're gonna go about Jesus. Still got all this water in my ears from the beach. We're gonna go eight percent. We'll see if my cardio is any good. Still, I mean, I've been doing it. I just <laughs> may not be as good. I mean, it should be a little bit easier since I'm at lower altitude. But I, you just never know until you start doing it. So, but eight percent out of three miles per hour is about what I'm supposed to do. So. But I guess this is the episode one cardio talk, so I don't even know what you want to call this, but yeah, I just kind of go through what I did. Woke up, we had our breakfast, right? I'm sure it's just delicious breakfast then. I guess it's on, on vacation. I went to the, the beach, so I'm a little quite a bit tanner right now, and uh. Yeah, so, nothing too crazy though. Work swim in the morning. It's been hot here. Hot and humid. And, yeah. Just sweating. It's nasty. It's just like all oh, pretty sick. I just don't know how to control it, you know. The only thing I've been doing is the agua, drinking lots of water. It seems to be it's not the only thing that'll help. Yeah. Huh. But I think I'm gonna do a separate episode of this from the rest of the vlog since this is more just like podcast you could say. So but yeah, definitely <laughs> when I get asked a lot about cardio, like see how much should you do or easy, how much should I be doing, you know. All these questions like depends, what are your goals? You just try to maintain? You just try to maintain. Two, three times a week. Twenty minutes. Do a stairmaster or a treadmill or just whatever. Get your into like 140 beats per minute, 30, between 120 to 135. I don't know, it's gonna be different you know, on everybody, but if you're trying to maintain conditioning, gain a little bit of weight, bulk, main gain, yeah, 20 minutes, three times a week. Maybe a little bit more if you're feeling generous, feeling bold, you know. But uh, I wouldn't do too much more than that. Especially if you're trying to put on a lot of size. So, I tend to be somebody that overdoes their cardio. And I think for me it's just because my blood work comes back and cholesterol is a little bit high and I'm just like freaking out about it. So, but that'll do that. That'll happen to you, you know. So, I've been pretty self conscious about that. But I'd say if you're cutting, you don't have to up it up. You're going to increase it a little bit. I think it'll really help you stay conditioned. Well, I mean, it's going to get you conditioned, but it'll help condition you for... Because you will lose... Depends on how much you cut, but like, you will lose a little bit of strength. Like that. You'll gain... If you're like really fat with, like me, where I just need everything in sight, you know? <laughs> then you'll actually gain some strength. Because that conditioning from all the cardio. Because right now I'm at five times a week. Cardio sessions, 30 minutes, and uh, or three 30 minute sessions and then two normal sessions. But if you're doing a lot of cardio, like <clears throat> you need that conditioning. But <clears throat> I just say it depends. But right now, three times a week cardio, treadmill, and then two times on stairmaster. Which fortunately they don't really have access here to that. But I've been doing a lot of swimming, which burns a lot of calories, too, and don't neglect swimming. 
back in my water polo days. That shit killed. And uh, I think that was one of the best physiques I had. I mean, I was a little bit smaller, obviously, than I am now, but I think that 130 to like 140 body weight, super, super lean. Not as lean as my stage conditioning, but <clears throat> definitely still really lean. Um, that, you have to remember, I had quite a bit less muscle, you know, a lot of the muscle I have is just strictly for agility work, but that muscle was obviously less and yeah. I think when I'm done bodybuilding now, I'll maintain that physique 130 to 150 clean. I mean, it's hard to really say, you know, but kind of more athletic type of build and I mean, I like my legs where they are now. I can maintain my legs and then in the future shrink my upper body, upper body just a little bit. That's what I'll end up probably doing. But that's a long ways away right now. We just bulking, baby. You just gotta keep bulking, you gotta keep eating. So, but just like dating guys, you just, you just gotta keep going. You gotta, you gotta keep doing it. You gotta keep trying. You're gonna fail. But as long as you don't quit, you'll just keep putting on size or you'll just keep getting dates. Eventually, you get to where you want to be or you'll get to the partner that you want. So, but, yeah. Whew, I'm only eight minutes in. So, but, let's see, what else we got? Cardio by the. <sighs> Forms of cardio. What else is really good? What else? Let's see. Cut, bulk. I mean, honestly, all, most of the information's out there. You know, like, I'm constantly having friends ask me for advice on what they need to do. And I'm like, dude, if you just spent 20 minutes research, you know, don't listen to me for all the advice. I'm gonna give you guys tips and whatnot, but I'm kind of here just more to entertain you. But I a podcast for, but I'm really just here to entertain you and give you some advice. But you know, spend like 20 minutes. You interview just spend 20 minutes a night researching best Vulcan diets or something. I don't know, like just anything, any questions, like best exercise with biceps, you know. There's about 20 different bi bicep exercises that you can do. But I'd say only about 10 of them are really good. You just rotate those out, you know. And it's like, oh, how long should I be on a program and all these things, whatnot. Like I said, you just spend 20 minutes a night, 20, 10 to 20 minutes. Even though that was dumb as fuck, but I that. 20 minutes. Researching whatever it is of fitness. Because I didn't, when I got started in fitness, I didn't have really. I like one person to help me out, make sure my form was good, but first like two years, it was all just me. Researching, figuring out diets, protein amount, values, supplementation. I didn't even get the supplements until about eight, uh, eight months to a year in. And I'm like, dang, I could have. So I take a creatine, but muscle weight quicker. But that's why I did my own research. But and but if you're really serious, you'll hire a coach and uh, a credible, credible coach and whatnot. So because even coaches have coaches, and I feel like they're very valuable for your goals. You know, I. Would not have made as much progress now as I did in the two years. I've made more progress now than I did in those first two years. It just speeds up the whole process. And you're still learning, you know, if you're doing it right, you'll be asking the question every so often. Using his resources and value to help educate you more. So, but. Yeah, if you're really serious, you'll hire a coach. That's what. Invest some money in yourself. 
You know, it is a lot of money up front sometimes, but I tell you right now, if you're serious about your goals, you'll do whatever it takes to accomplish them. So, just like I'm on vacation, but I'm still getting my cardio done. So, but, yeah. Fly back tomorrow. I don't know if I should raw dog the flight or not. I think I might. No earbuds, no headphones. Fortunately, there's a screen, so I'll just put the flight map on and just look at that. It's even more torturous. Because then you can see how many minutes you got. When you can't see how many minutes or how many hours you got. I feel like it's easier to raw dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's easier to raw dog the flight. But you could just sit there and blank out. But if you can see it, and you're always like, ah, it says three hours and 50 minutes. Ah, shoot, it says three hours and 45. Ah, five minutes isn't going as quick as I thought, you know? And, uh, yeah. We'll fly back tomorrow. Get right back on meal plan. Which I've been pretty good about that. Not great, but pretty damn close. And uh, really just lock in. And we'll be 15 weeks out, baby. We're 15 weeks out as of today. So we really just need to lock back in. Get our shit together. You know? You ain't win in first place or in last place, baby. That means there's improvements to be made. <laughs> so, that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, I'm um, fill out the rest of my weight cap. Weight cap. That's the goal. I feel like it's crazy because like legs for me tend to fade a little bit during the off season, but as soon as I get in prep. Because I'm always, we're always focused on legs for me. That's my weakest point in my physique. We've really brought them up quite a bit. But <clears throat> legs are hard, man. They say train to failure, but it's like you need to train to failure the right, right way. And I wouldn't say my legs are, like I said, they're a weak point, but they're barely, barely noticeable. And like towards the end of prep, my legs are very resilient. They don't lose a whole lot of size. It's just hard to grow them. And I think because I just get fat in the off season. So in this next off season, I'm gonna make some improvement season. I'm going to really focus on staying cleaner on the nutrition, depending on what the cheat meals are. I mean, every off season I've been a little bit cleaner and better, which is good. Like I didn't have as many crumble cookies. The only thing that sucked about this off season was. I was never really like super hungry and that wasn't great because it's great when you're on prep like and that's what's been helping me get shredded is because I just have not been hungry I mean you still got to eat those meals you know you don't want to be losing muscle you don't want to lose all that progress you made in the off season in the prep and uh, so it's been great you know I haven't I get to, I mean, we're pretty low calories, like 1,800 or something, which is pretty low for me, but I'm a smaller body composition, you know, when you're 5'4", you know, you don't burn as many calories as someone that's 6 foot, right, so, no, this is not but that's, that's been helping, uh, not being as hungry, just press it, but I know it's just a matter of time before I start feeling hungry. But when I have been hungry, like, it's been easier too, because I just, you're used to, you're used to that feeling. Compared to, as opposed to, uh, previously, your first couple preps. You know, even into the second prep, I still struggled a bit with that hunger, but now it's been a lot easier. This would break it, so. You don't even think about it. It's like it's a part of it. So. That's been nice. And, yeah. 
We're about 16 minutes in. I might up the radiant just a little bit. This treadmill is pretty nice. I don't know why. Techno gym. I think it's unique to Mexico that only does so. Might have to steal one. Put on the PJ private jet and uh, take it home with me. Just playing, guys. <laughs> but I have to look up the brand later and see if it's worth my time. I don't know how long I should make it. I think 20 minutes is a perfect length for these. That way you guys don't get too bored and I can just grind out the last 10 minutes of music. So, because I'm not actually listening to anything in my earbuds right now. But I think I can grind out the last 10 minutes. <clears throat> and, uh,. Yeah. Well. Yeah, it's definitely easier doing the cardio to you than the data about it. Only thing that sucks though is it doesn't seem like I'm burning nearly as many calories. I think I'd be at like 150 if I was at elevation. And all that means we all work just a little bit harder, baby. So. But uh, comment below if you guys want these longer, shorter than 20 minutes. And uh, if you guys are watching this, comment below if you have any questions or whatnot. Yeah. You can just put this in the background and listen to this as you're cooking or meal prepping or whatever the fuck it is that you got to do. So. Yeah. Alrighty guys, I'm going to finish the last 15-ish minutes myself, and uh, yeah, catch you guys in the uh, next video, and uh, I don't know, should I get into sports gambling? I think I'm going to post my sports gamble in there. Uh, maybe not sports game. What's something I do? Like, because the other influencers, they like, they do the gym and then they got one other thing, right? Gambling, bars, <laughs> partying. I don't think that I should do extra. I had to think of some stuff. Um, I just pick up surfing part of time, right? Now I think I'll, or like video games, maybe I'll just post my video games. I don't play a whole lot of video games. I only play one video game right now. So maybe I'll start posting that up. Boloteco, if you guys haven't heard of it, definitely should check that out. I think that would be a good one. I just need to figure out how to project my screen. Comment below if you guys know how to do that. Project your screen. I'll post that. I kind of rage hardcore. I haven't been playing it too much because it's just it's a lot like Apex Legends. It's just pretty easy. It gets pretty easy. So you still lose because there are people that are also pretty smart. But the only thing that sucks is there's no microphone unless you unless your teammate you know, planning up with other people. So I hate that feature, but there's that. So. But post that maybe. Because, like, daily, average day life, right? Because I still got a job. And stuff. So, open that. Can't really post at work too much. But, all right, guys, camera's about to die, so I'll catch you in the next video and stuff. And, uh, yeah. Bye bye.